Editing a page is pretty simple. Just navigate to the page you'd like to edit, click the copyright symbol to log in, and click the green pencil icon to start making changes to your content. If the page you'd like to edit isn't yet published, like the page you created in the previous assignment, then you can find it by logging in and clicking Content. Find your directory folder, and click to enter your page. Now you can start making changes. There are a few common errors you might run into if you're not able to make changes to your page. For example, if you go to a published page and click the copyright symbol to log in, you might get this error message that says you don't have the proper permissions to edit this page. To fix this issue, reach out to your instructor for help and make sure to provide the link to the page you're trying to edit. Another common issue is getting to your page and logging in, but you're unable to see the edit option. This particular issue is due to the checkout process. See how this item is locked? If you hover your mouse over the lock icon, you can see who's checked out the page for editing. You can also see this lock icon in the directory. Let's go back into the Training User 6 account so you can see what the directory looks like from their perspective. Every time you edit a page, you'll notice the light bulb icon here turns yellow next to your page in the directory. The light bulb means you've checked out the content for editing and no one else can edit this item until you click the icon to turn the light bulb off like this. Now other users can edit that content. Let's go back into the other account to double check. Yep, my other account can edit this as it's no longer locked. If you're still having trouble unlocking content or editing a page, reach out to your instructor for additional support. Now let's try some basic page editing. Let's try to add an edit text by typing and apply formatting changes. You can use the formatting options up here. It's just like Word. I can also insert items like a table, a link to a website or document, or an image. We'll go over those more in detail in a minute. For now, let's save our changes by clicking the Save and Exit icon here. You can preview your changes here, or go back into edit mode here. You can even see a log of any changes that have been made here under Properties. Or you can view saved versions of the page here. These are for named versions only. Saving a named version of a page is easy. Just click the Save Version icon here. This feature might be useful if you're working on multiple drafts of a page and you want to name one version as a completed draft, but you don't want to have to go through the log to see every single save change. Let's talk a little more about inserting items into your page. Let's go back into edit mode. I'd like to add an image of graduating students onto my page. To insert a photo, edit the content, then click on the insert image icon. Now we'll click the Browse icon. 
If you don't already see your directory folder here, you may need to navigate to it. To find your directory folder, click on the www in the breadcrumb trail here. The folder we used in the last video was the one we created with our first initial, last name, within the PDC training folder, so let's navigate to that one again. Once you're in your directory folder, click on Upload. Now the green Add icon. Now choose your file. You may need to rename your file. To do so, click the name, then click the Rename icon that appears. Make sure to only name your file using lowercase letters, numbers, underscores, and hyphens. There are no spaces or periods allowed. Once your file has been renamed, hit the Enter key on your keyboard, then click Start Upload. You'll see a preview of your image once it's been successfully uploaded, and you can then click Insert. Now you'll need to enter a description for your image, also referred to as alternative text. This is necessary for ADA compliance. You can keep the text description of your photo short and simple, but make sure to communicate the meaning of your image here. For this graduating students example, we can use descriptive text as simple as students at graduation. We don't need to describe what the students look like or what the regalia looks like. We just need to communicate that this is a decorative image of graduating students you'll find more best practices for alternative text in your course lesson. So remember to check it out after you finish this video. Once you're ready to insert your photo, click OK. Now for adding files. This is basically the same process as adding images, except you'll need to type some text that you'd like to link to your file. Highlight that text, then click on the Insert Link icon. Here's what that looks like. Now I'm ready to upload my file. Click the Browse icon, and you should see that you're already in the correct directory. Click Upload, then click Add to browse your computer for your file. Here I have some meeting minutes I'd like to upload, so I'm going to select them and click Open. You may need to rename your file. This will follow the same naming convention that we covered before. Now click Insert. You're now ready to insert your file, so click OK to finish the process. You can see the link is red and underlined. Let's save and check out a preview. You'll notice the image here is broken. This is because we haven't published the image yet. We'll cover that and how to publish your entire page in the next video.